I miss the old MCU. Remember back in the 2010s, every Marvel movie that came out was this big event. Movie theaters would be packed with eager fans waiting to see the next edition of the cinematic universe. And I knew the MCU wasn't going to be the same, but I didn't expect this much of a decline. And that belief in that decline really came after watching Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantum Mania. Now, I'll be honest, I enjoyed the past two Ant-Man movies and I was excited to see this one, but it was a huge disappointment in my eyes. Moving forward, I am going to be getting into this movie in way more depth and detail, so spoilers ahead. Now, when you go to a Marvel movie, part of the experience is the crowd. And usually when a new MCU movie comes out, I usually want to go during the night on a weekend. Because if you have a good crowd, you're going to have a better experience watching this film. But for this movie, I went on a Wednesday during the evening with three others in the theater. And I did this because I just don't care anymore. MCU doesn't have the hype they used to have. And to be fair, I wasn't the only one who didn't care because I heard snoring half the time while watching this film. But let's get into this review. Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania is a lot. I think overall there's just too much going on for an Ant-Man movie. Remember how the first two movies were kind of grounded based off reality? Well, this one just blows that out of the water. This movie makes its goal to make this series seem bigger than it actually is. Most of the time, it felt like a Star Wars film rather than a Marvel film. Now, before I get into some of the negative parts that didn't really sit well with me, I do want to talk about some positives in this movie. Paul Rudd. That's enough said. Anything Paul Rudd is in is instantly gold. His performance in this movie is solid and it really reimburses the fact that they casted the right guy to play this character. I also really enjoyed the performance done by Jonathan Majors. I thought this version of Kang he was playing was really well done, and it kept me in the movie. I'm hoping Kang becomes a bigger villain and gets a lot more screen time. So basically, if Ant-Man and Kang were on screen, it was one thumbs up. But now, let's get to some of the things that didn't really work for me in this film. Listen, I get it. It's a third film and you want to make it bigger than the last two. But having this big battle in the quantum realm didn't seem like it fit with the whole series. Like I said, it felt more like a Star Wars film with all these creatures and all these spaceships fighting each other. I honestly forgot at one point that this was a Marvel film until Ant-Man became big and showed up on screen. Another big problem with this film is the ending. Now, I'm pretty sure I saw something that the ending got leaked months prior to the release of this film, and it actually had Ant-Man and the Wasp trapped in the quantum realm. That ending is way better than the one we got, in my opinion. Having them sacrifice themselves for their families makes the whole movie have way higher stakes. I mean, honestly, if you did that ending, it would be super easy to bring them back. But they did reshoot the ending, and the ending we got was all right, but very predictable. Also want to point out that Cassie does do the classic type on the computer, and then boom, portal opens. In the end, I just wish this film had higher stakes. Also want to mention that the story gets way too confusing. In the beginning, we learn that Janet knows Kang, and she made his ball bigger, and that ball powers his ship or something. Also, he did mention he got banished, but by himself. Well, different versions of himself. So is this still the main timeline, or are we in a different timeline? I don't know if it was just me, but I spent the entire movie figuring out all these plots and connecting the dots rather than actually watching the film. Now, they did introduce a new Marvel character who's in the comics. Modok makes his first appearance in the MCU, and oh boy, is it bad. What the hell is even that? Jesus Christ, it looks so terrifying. For me, I got the feeling that everyone on this set just said, you know what, just do the scene in the screen screen, and we'll fix it in post, we'll do the whole scene in post. Thus leaving these probably underpaid and overworked CGI artists to basically create this whole film. I can't imagine what that office or that production space looked like. 
Now, there are reports coming out saying that Marvel really focused the CGI on Black Panther 2 rather than working on Quantum Mania, which makes sense. Now, Modoc is the villain from the first Ant Man movie, Darren Cross. Sure, it makes sense that he's down in the quantum realm. He did like shrink up in the first one, but. I think I would much rather see Modoc be introduced as someone completely new. Now, one of the main downfalls of recent MCU projects is the writing, and this movie is no different from the rest. There are many cringe-written scenes in this film, including the one where Cassie says she got arrested for peacefully protesting, or the one where Hank explains that socialism could be good. Actually, come to think of it, those socialist ants did come in and save the day. Now, Ant-Man is a funny character, right? So naturally, there's going to be some comedic scenes in this movie, or at least an attempt to have comedic scenes. For me, the jokes kind of felt forced and fell flat. After watching this film, I had a big revelation. The MCU peaked during Endgame. I was very optimistic after Endgame that things would get better and better. But after a boring Phase 4 and a disappointing start to Phase 5, I think I can officially say, yeah, it's not getting better. The MCU is just getting way too complicated and it's no fun anymore. The MCU definitely lost its hype and it's going to be hard to get that hype back, especially after putting out garbage like She-Hulk and mediocre films like Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantum Mania. But of course, I wanna hear from you guys. Did you guys watch the new Ant-Man film? Let me know what you thought down in the comments below. Also, if you enjoy this video and you want to see more, please be sure to click that like button and subscribe to the channel for more content just like this. Speaking of content, and you want to see any one of my other videos, please be sure to click on this playlist right here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.